Hello and welcome to another tutorial of JavaScript. In this tutorial, we'll, we will going to further enhance our knowledge in working with variables in JavaScript. So I've declared uh, two variables. I've declared two variables in JavaScript here. One variable is called num1. The other variable is called num2. Each one of the two variables are holding a value. And as we have learned in the last tutorial, the equals to sign to which on the right hand side we have a value, left hand side we have a variable, the value gets assigned to the variable. So I've declared two variables, num1 and num2, and num1 holds a value 10 in its memory location, and num2 holds a value 20 in its memory location. It is quite possible to declare one variable per line, or I could actually be displaying more than one variable on a line as well. So for example, this is where I am assigning each one of them their respective values. So total of four variables have been declared in this example. In this example we will going to use assignment operator that we have already used. On top of that we would also like to use arithmetic operators. There are total of five arithmetic operators plus for addition, minus for subtraction, then we have multiplication, division, and then we have modulus. Modulus is written like a percent symbol but what it does it performs the division just like a division but unlike division instead of giving you the quotient it actually gives you the remainder so if you do 4 mod 2 remainder is 0 if you do 5 mod 2 remainder is 1 so it basically gives you the remainder extremely useful in computing um, leap year or uh, computing computing if you're looking for even number versus odd number and some of the other apps like that so over here we would now like to add num1 num2 and num3 and store the value in results so it's very simple I'm gonna say result equals to num1 plus num2 plus num3 and I'm going to display my output with document.write result is and as we have learned in our last tutorial I'll use my concatenation operator similarly I will I can use or reuse my variables over and over again so let's say if in the second occurrence of result I would like num1 and num2 to be multiplied so here is the result again result Two. I would like to call this one result one and since I would like each one of them to appear on a new line I'm using BR which is another concatenation done here in this example okay so we, we would like to run it the way it is right now so here is my output and as you can see welcome to HTML page and result 1 is 60 which is 10 plus 20 plus 30 and result 2 is 200 which is 10 times 20 now to perform some of the other things like division so let's say if I perform a division operation here by saying please divide num2 by num1 and this is my result number 3 similarly I would like to perform division so divide num3 uh, sorry, subtraction. Uh, subtract num2 from num3. So that's my result number 4. Okay. Um, so now let's go back to the browser and look at the output. And here you can see the result 1, which is the addition. Result 2, that is the multiplication. Result 3, that is the division. And result 4, that is subtraction. So all four results were computed using the arithmetic operators. Now if you had to combine these operations that you may have to remember your PEMDAS rule, okay? The PEMDAS, which is parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication, division, they are at the same level. So that's a rule of associativity. For others, that is rule of precedence. And then we have addition and we have subtraction so these are one two three four five and six operation PEMDAS rules so if in a given expression let's say in this case if I have result equals to num1 plus num2 times num3 since multiplication is of a higher precedent precedence operator therefore number uh, well, multiplication will gonna take place first between number three and number two multiplication is the higher highest level of precedence after out of out of, uh, 
So in this expression, a multiplication is of a higher precedence. Therefore, multiplication will going to take place first between num2 and num3. And then the result will be added with num1. So num2 is 20. Num3 is 30. So 20 times 30. And then 10 will be added to that. And then I can be displaying the result like this. If I would like the addition to happen before uh, the multiplication, then what I can do is I can use parentheses around addition. And that will going to allow me to perform the addition first. So this is my result number 5, and this is my result number 6. So let's have a look at the output now. So here we go. So um, as the PEMDAS rules are applied, in result number 5, that is 20 times 30, that's 600 plus 10, 610. In the second case, which is result number 6, it is the num1 plus num2, that is 10 plus 20, that's 30, and 30 times 30, that's 900. So that's how you can be using um, these arithmetic operations on variables. Catch you in the next tutorial where we're going to learn how to use a window object um, with the prompt and the alert boxes. Thank you for watching.